Good evening. We're calling the Lakeville Park Commission meeting to order today, Monday, April 13th, 2020 at 631. I'd like to first start off to have a moment that we um, can reflect on the loss of a couple of um, very important and very, um, I don't want to say old, but <laughs> very uh, long time uh, people that were involved in um, the uh, govern governance of uh, Lakeville, Jan Tracy, who had longtime town clerk, and um, Sylvester Zink Zinkowitz, who was on uh, many, many boards over the years. So if we could just take a, a moment to remember them. Okay, first item, um, in accordance with the governor's order suspending certain provisions of the open meeting law relating to the 2020 novel coronavirus outbreak emergency, the April 13th, 2020 public meeting of the Lakeville Park Commission shall be physically closed to the public to avoid group congregation. However, to view this meeting in progress, please go to facebook.com forward slash Lakecam. You do not need a Facebook account to view the meeting. This meeting will be recorded and available to be viewed at a later date at www.lakecam.tv. Uh, as a, pre a preliminary matter, this commissioner of the Park Lakeville Park Commission permit me to confirm that all members, staff, and persons anticipated on the agenda are present and can hear me. Commissioners, when I call your name, please respond in the affirmative. Jesse Medford. Affirmative. Joe Kosha. Affirmative. Okay, and I believe we're missing uh, Chairman Scott Holmes and Vice Chairman uh, uh, Justin Bradley. Uh, staff, when I call your name, please respond in the affirmative. Nellie Woodburn, clerk. Affirmative. <laughs> Okay, I anticipate uh, speakers to the agenda. Please respond to the affirmative. Maureen Candido, town administrator. Are you there? Hi. <laughs> okay. okay, the introduction to the remote meeting. Good evening. This meeting of the Lakeville Park Commission is being conducted remotely consistent with Governor Baker's executive order of March 12, 2020, due to the current state of emergency in the Commonwealth due to the outbreak of the COVID-19 virus. In order to mitigate the transmission of the COVID-19 virus, we have been advised and directed by the Commonwealth to suspend public gatherings, and as such, the governor's order suspends the requirement of the open meeting law to have all meetings in a publicly accessible physical location. Further, all members of public body bodies are allowed and encouraged to participate remotely. The order, which you can find posted with agenda materials for this meeting, allows public bodies to meet entirely re remotely, as so long as reasonable public access is afforded so that the public can follow along with the deliberations of the meeting. Ensuring public access does not ensure public participation unless such participation is re required by law. This meeting will not feature public comment. For this meeting, the Lakeville Park Commission is convening by video conference via Zoom as posted on the town's website. Please note that this meeting is being recorded and that some attendees are participating by video conference. Accordingly, please be aware that other folks may be able to see you and take care not to screen share your computer. Anything that you broadcast may be captured by the recording. Okay. Should I read all the rest of this as well? The meeting materials and all that? Just keep going, huh? All supporting materials that have been provided, members of the body are available to the town at the town's website unless otherwise noted. The public is encouraged to follow along using the posted agenda unless I note otherwise. Ground rules. We are now turning to the first item of the agenda. Before we do so, permit me to cover some ground rules for effective and clear conduct of our business and to ensure accurate meeting minutes. I will introduce each speaker on the agenda after they conclude their remarks, 
The chair will go down the line of members inviting each name to provide any comment, questions, or motions. Please hold until your name is called. Further, please remember to mute your phone or com computer when you're not speaking. Please remember to speak clearly and in a way that helps generate accurate minutes. For any response, please wait until the chair yields the floor to you and state your name before speaking. If members wish to engage in a colloquy, <laughs> With a colloquy, colloquy, with other members, please do so through the chair taking care to identify itself. Finally, each vote taken in this meeting will be conducted by roll call, roll call vote. Okay. Second item. Communication from town administrator. Maureen Candido. Hello, hello. Uh, so uh, on Friday, I sent the, the entire board um, a le letter detailing some of the structural changes um, that we talked about originally um, when we had one-on-one -on -one meetings uh, with Scott and then later with Mike uh, and Franklin and Selectman LaCamera. Um, and I wanted to make sure that we were all on the same page about what was being um, put on the table and requested to change the structure. And um, that letter uh, was a reflection of those changes. Um, so those changes are made to divide up the maintenance portion of the parks on, and have the maintenance portion um, flow down directly through uh, the the superintendent of streets, Franklin uh, Moniz. Um, it, everything pertaining to do with um, the leagues, um, the, the entertainment, the um, loon pond, um, and gosh, everything else was still reporting in. So events management, park location for events, leagues, the clerk, um, the two uh, part-time maintenance people, Clear Pond, seasonal lifeguards, seasonal concession, and the Clear Pond supervisor all still reporting through to the parks. Um, this structure um, comes about because of the retirement of Mike Vickery, who was a split person between the highway and the parks. And um, for the changing needs of the parks, um, as you guys know better than I, um, you guys used to have a really robust volunteer program um, that a lot of the maintenance uh, got through on and was able to get done in, in, in the last few years. We've lost some of those longtime people um, and now the burden has been put on your uh, committee to get this done. It's, uh, it's not something I've seen in any other town. Uh, I've never seen anyone have to do what you guys have to do. Uh, and try to do it remotely and uh, by meetings. And we are trying to better fit uh, the needs of the park uh, in with the best, I don't know, flow for what the equipment goes and the knowledge flows. And that would be under Franklin for when it comes to any of the maintenance of the grounds and equipment. So I think that sums it up. Okay, um, I'd like to just um, point out that I gave uh, Maureen a call earlier today to uh, let her know that some of the things uh, on this structure that she has um, put together um, are not exactly the way that I remember the meeting going. And um, I think we need to hash these things out before we go and meet jointly with the Board of Selectmen and, and put together a plan with them. Um, one of which uh, is that um, the um, highway maintenance person was going to be paid for by the highway department or the town, not the park commission. Um, if, if the person is not going to report to us at all in any manner, um, then um, we didn't feel that it was, it, you know, we should be paying for that. And um, selecting the camera, um, offered to have both of those positions paid for by the town, uh, leaving us um, our budget money to bring in another part-timer if we felt that we needed it. Um, 
I don't know. Um, we could check the other folks that were at those meetings to make sure. Oh, absolutely. Uh, but that, that is my, that is my recollection of the meeting. Uh, um, I have, uh, having said that, I have met the, the uh, Ryan, the, the fellow that they've hired for that position, and he, um, I think he's going to work out fine. And I think that um, uh, Frank and I, so far, the dealings we have had are been have been very good. Um, we're um, we're on the same page as as Frank had said in the meeting that we met. It's it's kind of like a partnership. So. Um, that part of it, except for the fact that the funding, I, you know, we have to we have to hammer that out. Okay. Now, one of the um, other things. Go ahead. Can I interrupt just real quick, yep. just to let the people at home know the two positions in question are um, a parks maintenance supervisor and a parks laborer, and those are the two positions that are in question. Just to let the people at home know. Correct. This question I, I have, have, if you don't mind, the. The seasonal, what we said here is the seasonal maintenance person, excuse me, full-time laborer. That's the, now was that Mike's old job? That's what Mike's old job turned into. And, and that's what Ryan is, uh, I can't remember Ryan's last name. Um, Ryan had just, uh, okay. Um, he, he's taking over that position and it is a full-time laborer position. Um, can I um, just interject for a second, Maureen? Um, I think uh, Mike's position was closer to the supervisor's position because Mike had the all of the appropriate um, licenses to run the equipment, um, you know, the hoisting license and stuff like that. Um, he was more um, a jack of all trades down there. Mm -hmm. um, this the, Ryan is not does not have the um, ability to run any of the heavy equipment. Gotcha. And Ryan, uh, Ryan's salary reflects that. And that's the right. one that you guys are um, being uh, apportioned. And the supervisor um, was being uh, billed out to the highway department. So this position is being billed to the parks. Okay, that wasn't yeah, except that that wasn't what was, you know, talked about at the meeting. Um, one of the other things that um, was uh, uh, concerning to me a little bit is the fact uh, that the verbiage says that the um, any capital improvements will be uh, run through the um, highway department. Um, one of the primary um, jobs of the park commission is to, um, you know, to um, uh, plan and to make happen these. Uh, um, uh, capital improvements what we've you know that we do like the new two new fields that we we just built and the bathroom down at John Pond and um, you know, the lodge was all done through you know solely through the Park Commission um, so I don't know my in my own feeling I don't know how everybody else feels my own feeling is I don't really feel that we want to give up that responsibility um so mike if i if i may just quickly interject um it's uh there's a a note that says all equipment purchases and maintenance associated with the park's grounds will now be the responsibility of the highway department so okay. a, again it's just for the grounds um just in case that wasn't clear um all of this just clarify that okay yeah and um Again, I, I I don't know if um, when Mike was there, um, they did um, always maintain the equipment. Mike maintained it, or if he couldn't, it went over to uh, Bill at the highway barn, um, and they they fixed it. Um, I don't know what this wording means that it would now be the possession of the highway department, or they would just do the work for our equipment. Because uh, again, I don't have the authority as one commissioner to say, yeah, we, we can forfeit those assets, you know? Yeah, no, under, understood. And um, before, because Mike Vickery had worked in dual roles, um, you were getting the benefit of him working in the highway and being able to use that equipment and right. um, that he had at the highway. So this would be a split from that. So it right. would, again, um, just as you were saying, it would go up through the highway department as opposed to 
um, being under the care and custody of the parks. Okay, those were just a couple of things that I think that we need to work on um, before we meet with the uh, or went, or during a meeting with the board of selectmen. What do you, what do you, Joe and Jesse? What do you guys think? Did you get a chance to read that? Yeah, I mean, I read it. I, once again, I wasn't in a meeting that you were in, so um, I got to believe what you're saying is is accurate. I, I don't have anything, you know, saying otherwise. Um, where is the dis I guess from Marvin, where is the disconnect? So, um, you know, whenever you're in a meeting, um, sometimes, uh, especially if you're being in three or four meetings, um, I'm guessing some of the uh, players at hand are hearing different things. I think the best course is to get everyone together in one room and then make sure everyone knows exactly what it is that they're agreeing to. Because like I said um, to Mike earlier, um, the best course of action here is from me sending out this note to let you all know where, where this was headed and this is what we had discussed. But if Mike's saying he was not in agreement with a couple of these changes, I think we should absolutely meet with the, uh, with the board selectmen and make sure everyone's in agreement with what is being asked of everybody. I think that's Jesse. the best. Any thoughts, Jesse? Yeah, you know, when I was reading it too, yeah, I, I didn't really know where your uh, differences were in there. So, yeah, I mean, you know, you you were at the meeting, you you know what was discussed there. So, I don't really have anything to interject on that. Uh, okay, well, let's see if we can get a a, a joint meeting with all of us mm -hmm. and uh, the selectmen. And uh, I think we're close. I think we're close to a meeting. And in the in the um, you know um, uh, the, we have uh, I've had no problem you know working at all with with uh, Franklin. He's been great. So yeah. I'm sure we can work it out. Yeah. He's a real ace and is dying to you know help you guys out and use his expertise to to help the park run even smoother than it does now. So. I think you guys are in good hands um, when it's coming to this, especially with such an important transition happening. Um, but I agree that all we have to do is all get together and be on the same page. And that's what I was uh, hoping this email would help facilitate. Great. Okay. Um, did you uh, have anything else you wanted to talk about with the, the, uh, the projects, Maureen? Well, I did want to mention briefly that we got the quotes back from the project, but you can talk about them at your leisure. Um, and then if, uh, if people had questions, I know, I know some people here had some questions on why there were two separate projects. And um, I will tell you the same thing that I told them. It's because they're two different funding sources um, coming for these projects. But yes, we did get some bids in um, for the drainage projects in the park, and we're in the process of vetting um, those people now with references. Okay, so we'll we'll be um, our our board will be paying for the um, karate studio parking lot, so we'll be voting on accepting that, or, or you know sending it to the board of selectmen for select, for, select uh, for for approval. Yep, the other the one building committee would be voting on the other. Okay, all right, so. But but Mike, on that right. one there, if you're looking at the numbers in front of us here, what they've got the Park Commission paying is more than the Karate Studio parking lot. Am I reading that wrong? No, so I don't know. I don't. I don't know where the. I didn't put any of those numbers down there. Do you know about that, Maureen? So, are you looking? Um, the only two lo ones we're looking at right now are the twenty six five hundred. Yeah. And the twenty seven eight seventy three. Right, but if I look at the look down the bottom, it says funding. It says Park Commission fiscal year twenty budget thirty one oh eighty seven. That's more than the Karate Studio. So, so, so that all that is is paving. Also, it would be figuring in paving, but we don't have any paving projects out there right now for bid. I don't have a paving project out for bid. Well, so, um, Franklin got a uh, price on what yeah. that would be. And we yeah. do have money left in the pay, paving account. I think, Joe, maybe that is, and I we have to look at this further because I'm not sure, but I 
think maybe what that is is the difference between like the 49,000 that we had left in the paving project and um, the 55,000 that, that they think it's going to cost. Correct. I don't. I didn't have any input into those numbers. No, that that number is just a, a baseline number that we're using to understand what the costs would be to do a second project on top of the drainage. But right now we're just talking about the drainage. So the drainage numbers were twenty six five hundred and twenty seven seven eighty three. So we're just going to go with that right now. That's the uh, th those are two drainage projects. Um, the bids, um, and we'll talk. We can talk about. Um, our, our end of that. Um, I think you just put that other, those other numbers on there for kind of a reference for later. For a reference for later to know okay. that, um, that they, there was going to be that repaving account used for paving when it gets around to it. And um, from capital equipment is where the other part was. So we will uh, we'll cross that bridge. We don't want to we don't want to cross that bridge until we come to it. We still have to get the drainage project up and running. So um, the date I had on the drainage project was to be completed by June first. Okay. Um, I did want to add to that as well. We're talking about paving, Joe. Um, in the meetings, um, Franklin had expressed that. Um, once we do do the drainage part of the, the, of the um, uh, karate studio parking lot, the way that it is, it's going to be all like um, the same type of material that's, you know, like crushed material that we have there now. And because of the way the drain goes, they want to, they, they thought, he thought that it was important to get it paved as soon as possible because what happens is all that stuff's going to run into the drain and over you know, of course, not, not too long, you're going to have the drain is going to get clogged and your pipe going out is going to get clogged. So they, they had mentioned that there's still money in the paving account. I know that, you know, when they had the roads paved there, we did still have some money left in the, the account there. So, and that was 49 left in the account, but that would leave us short of the 55 estimate. And that, um, that estimate comes from, a uh, company we uh, uh, well a uh, service we contract out with to get the lowest rate on paving, so that's why we could, you know. We can talk about that too because um, sorry, sorry, Maureen, no. because um, there that is not that fifty five thousand is not a, a a set number. We could have it um, a little less, a le little less thickness, um, and bring it down to whatever price we we have to spend. Yeah, we don't but, feel like we. Uh, you know, I don't. I didn't put the five thousand in. I'm, I'm I'm assuming that someone. That's That'll just the money between, in their equipment account. They can yeah. you, you do that. It's just the difference between um, the, what you have left and what we're estimating the project would be. But again, one thing at a time, we're just working on the drainage right now. And then once yeah. we get the drainage up and running, we can talk. Cause I know it, uh, the karate paving was a priority for you guys. Okay. Right. Did we have anything else that um, from that Maureen you wanted to weigh in on or not for me? Okay. Oh, I did have one thing I want to mention to you. Are we still we're still looking into this um, this issue with the um, uh, southeast management and the percentage? Yes. Okay. Is, is that something you want to talk about now or? So if you'd like to talk about it, we we did find a discrepancy between what we were. Um, getting billed and what was on the contract. And we're working to find out how that discrepancy happened and what the impact of that is. Okay, I sent you some numbers on what the, what the difference was. Yeah, I um, 2017 I, and 2018 numbers. Yeah, 27, 28, it was like $2,700 one day a year and 3,000 the other, yeah. which is not, not nothing, but um, the, um, I just want to point out one thing that 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 particular number, the food service number, is not a percentage. Of, like the bar, the bar number is a percentage of what they bring in. They give us twenty percent of what they bring in. Mm -hmm. The food service is what they collect from the vendors, and it had always been eighteen percent from the time we opened that place up. Somewhere along the line, between the negotiations with Bill, Bill Fuller and our previous. Um, commission members, um, when the contractor agreement sent, gets sent to the, to the Board of Selectmen, that, that got changed from 18 to 20. And I don't know 
at this point, I don't know how that happened. Yeah. Um, but I, I guess the fellow signed it. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's not. It is a signed and fully executed contract. So um, I, I wasn't I, I, like you. I wasn't there at the time. Right. So I can't right. speak to, to the order of operations that happened. But um, all parties signed off on twenty percent. So um, that's that's where I'm at mm -hmm. right now as far as right. what we're looking right. at. So we'll we'll do some more research on that and figure it out. I guess. Okay. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, thank you for allowing me to join in and, and hopefully I've, uh, I've helped answer some of your questions. Thanks for coming. Thank you guys. Thank you. Okay. Next item, old business, Loon Pond Lodge updates and the electrical bill. Um, do you have, you have that, right? Uh, no, uh, Nellie, I'm sorry. You have yes, that? I no? do. And it is how much? $2,000? Oh, that. Oh, it's a little bit more. Uh, $2,231.37. Okay. So when we presented that bill a couple of meetings ago, Scott had mentioned that he didn't feel that that was correct or he wasn't sure what it, they were charging. Um, I have asked him a couple times if he's called the guy to talk to him, um, and I, I guess he hasn't had the time. Uh, I'm not sure, uh, but he's not here, so we can't really discuss it. Do you? Should we just table that until next meeting, or should we put that out for to get paid? And what do you guys think? Joe, go ahead. You're muted, Joe. Sorry about that. I kind of like you that way. <laughs> what was Scott thinking the, um, the bill should have been? I think he thought it was going to be somewhere around $1,200 or $1,500. Big difference. Go ahead, Jesse. I'm sorry. I'm saying it's, it's a big difference, though. I mean, how late is the payment right now? Oh, it's not late yet, I don't think. Uh, the job was completed uh, March 2nd, right before voting. Oh, a couple weeks overdue. All right, I'd say we wait then. Let's uh, let's talk to Scott until we get the, uh, the story. We okay. Look at. All right, so we're going to table that. Okay. Um, the other bill that we had uh, for, uh, well, it wasn't for Loon uh, We'll come back to that one. Um, general updates. There are, I have no general updates for Loon Pond Lodge other than the fact that it's Locked up and closed, and we haven't had any problems. Nobody's broken in. So that's all a good thing. Um, Everything that was scheduled, I think last time we spoke, we said it has been, things been moved out. We didn't do, have to do any refunds or anything, correct? So far, so far, they've either rescheduled or, or they're working on rescheduling. So that's great. Nice. Okay. But well, we did we did vote to um, issue refunds if people requested them, right? Yeah. Right, Nelly? Yes. Yeah. yes. Okay. All right. Ted Williams camp updates. Uh, Lakeville haunted house proposal. Did either of you folks get a chance to look at that proposal from uh, what's he called? Immersive immersive events. Yes. Yeah, I, I read it. Um, I responded to you on it too. I don't remember what my input was. I'd have to uh, read it over. It was a while ago. Yeah. Yeah. I uh, I, I was just concerned. It seems to be more than just the haunted house. Um, you know, it looks like they wanted to have events throughout the year. Uh, mm -hmm. It didn't really say what part of the park. I mean, I'm not going to let them use just the whole park whenever they want to. Yeah. I'd need more detail there. And, you know, once again. Um, the Lethal Haunted House was a great event. Uh, I, I, I just my fear is that we're going to commercialize it too much. And I, I don't. I just I'm a little nervous about the character of the park and all that. If we start and put on events, they're going to be that publicized, bringing in that many people, potentially. Mm. So I think we need some discussion on that. Yeah, I, I, just, I re read what my response was too. I was just saying that 2020 is like pretty much out of out of the question. Really, it's a. It's not going to happen in 2020. 
Yeah, I, I agree. Um, I, I told him that as, as much already. Um, yeah, he was very um, uh, gung ho and was excited, which is you know a good thing. Um, he wanted. To, he was talking about having like a Christmas train type thing going through the paths. So, you know, all sounded fun, but then he sends the proposal over and it's like, instead of being um, eight weekends or whatever we used to have, or seven weekends, it's like three months, <laughs> not three months, but it was, like, it was a lot more time. And I tried to explain to him that whenever the, the Lakeville Haunted House takes the park over, they take the park over, really. Um, so, you know, we, we have to ask soccer to be leaving early and volleyball has to get off the court and the you know, courts and you know, uh, uh, basketball has to get off the courts. So I told him, um, you know, we really need to, you know, tone it down a little bit. And, um, and like you said, Joe, 2020 is out of the question. So um, I'm, uh, if it's all right with you folks, I'm just going to tell them, you know, come back to us when this is all over and we'll talk about it. Yeah, I think we need some more details too. It just seemed a little open-ended. Um, oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah. yeah, he was getting carried away. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, review of the open positions. Um, the only uh, position that we have that's posted right now is the one to replace Linda. Um, I, I have to I have to talk to um, um, Clorinda because there was they were they were posting a position that was a, a temporary position until the end of the fiscal year that would be a part time you know like labor type person I think they took it off when they hired uh, this Ryan um, for the highway department um, so I'm not really sure exactly what happened with that. Regardless, we, we need to hire uh, someone for that um, permanent part-time position, the 18 hours per week position, uh, position that Linda Hall had for all those many years. Um, because once we do start having functions again, we're going to need someone there to clean and do the trash in the, you know, the bathrooms for the soccer and the, and the baseball. And, um, you know, we have no one really working on weekends right now. So uh, that is open. I haven't heard of any applicants. I have uh, not heard of any applicants either. Yeah. So. And on the website, all we have up is parks department supervisor and part-time park maintenance, which would be Linda's old position. Right. So they took the other one off. Yeah. Um, again, um, just to go back to the uh, conversation with uh, Maureen, um, the the it was you know my recollection surely of the meeting was that the town was going to pay for both of those positions where they're both working for the highway department they're not working for us um you know at least when mike was here during the course of the seven months that he worked for us he worked for us and, and we paid that portion of his pay um and then for the winter months he was paid for by the highway department this is like we're going to pay the full amount for someone and not have any any say over him at all um having said that i, I met the kid he's very reasonable frank's been very reasonable so i, I don't know what to say i'm just a little conf confused about why they said that they, we weren't going to be paying for it now they want us to just this question i have and like i said i i don't know what agreement was made and all that but if it looks like the highway department is going to pick up all the outside stuff, grounds, mm -hmm. and we're going to do inside. So if that position is going to be handling the grounds, I, I, I'm just surprised that we'd have to pay for that if it's going to be not working on anything on the insides. That's all. But I don't know. Let's do the point. Right. Right. So if, if that did happen and if they did pay for it, as was, I thought, understood, um, we would still have money to hire another person to do um, like kind of be a roving um, part-time uh, laborer could run them around to all the different parks and stuff. Um, and that was kind of my thought, but now it's kind of blown up. So <laughs> I don't know. So I don't know. As it is right now, the only open position 
for us is the um, the uh, part uh, permanent part part time one. Okay. So for the other seasonal ones, the Clear Pond people, are we just gonna not? We're gonna just wait on that because we probably don't know if Clear Pond's gonna open this year, right? <laughs> I heard anything yet that. about it? Yeah, good question. I mean, if they do open, it's gonna be late, probably, right? We opened in. Well, no, we we don't open till the end of June. End of June, yeah, when school lets out. Yeah, but you know. Jesse, usually by this time we're hiring people, aren't we? We're at least yeah. um, posting the positions or reviewing the posts at this point. Yeah. I think last year when all the applicants came in, I think that was in May, um, to fill out their paperwork. Um, so yeah, we're getting close to that point. Right. What well, do you? What do you? Th I, I'm. Do you think we should? You know, uh, move along like business as usual and and let you know let people know that. Yeah, you're applying for a job if it happens. I mean, I think we should cover ourselves to make sure we have, you know, um, employees. Yeah, I would think we put out the same uh, you know, the job listing. Wouldn't, wouldn't change anything. But it's only for the lifeguards and concession, not maintenance. Correct? Say again? Uh, it's only for, well, we would be hiring for is the lifeguards in the concession, the maintenance people are going to be um, covered by the highway department, right? Uh, does it say that on that? I don't, I, I don't, I, that was not my understanding. My understanding was that the, uh, the, the clip on park was, you know, it, uh, on our, our thing. Uh, sorry, Mike, I think I misread that. Uh, it does say that it'd be paid for by the parks, but be reporting up to uh, highway department. So I don't know yeah, if that, they want that's, to have a that's what I mean. Saying that they're going to hire those, or we're going to hire them, and that's what I mean. I, there was stuff listed there that I, it came out of the blue. I, I, I had there was no conversation on that at all. You would think but, they'd still be reporting to the director. Of, yeah. 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 So maybe we add that to the agenda for the other meeting to talk about that other full-time laborer. Let's do yeah. that. Put those two together. Yeah, I mean uh, that that those positions, those maintenance positions, have always been um, supervised by the the the, uh, the pond park director. And I don't know, I don't know if you know. I and we didn't speak. I didn't speak with Russ. I mean Franklin about that at all, or anybody about that at all. So I'm not sure where that came from. It's really. A completely different kind of maintenance than the kind that uh, Ted Williams camp. So right. Maybe they lumped it together in their mind. Well, we're thinking it's completely different. Yeah. Well, that's one of those things that we have to, um, we have to um, iron out because we need to know if we're going to hire these people or not. Perhaps they lumped together John Pond and Ted Williams camp as the thought of a seasonal maintenance and not thinking about clear pond, which is kind of different. Yeah, but they're not hiring anybody for seasonal. They're all full time. Yeah, it says seasonal uh, maintenance workers at various parks. So I don't know if that was the plan to maybe that they would. It's all it's that I saw that Saturday and it was the first time I had heard of it. So we need to figure it out. But I, I do think we need to um, contact Doug and um, see about contacting some of these um, past employees about putting applications in. Yeah. That makes sense? Yeah. They can't do yeah. it until the posting's up. It has to be posted like, you know, the same way as all jobs. Yes, and I do believe it's internal first and then it goes external. Um. What does that mean? The posting can't go out on the website to everybody until it's gone through all internal town employees first. Okay, and that's through the uh, HR department? Yes. Okay. So do you does want it have to be internal? I think it's a week, but I'm not definite. It's, you think what? I think internally it's a week. 
Okay, so we should definitely get going on it then, right? Uh, HR has reached out and asked what our plan was. I was going to mention it um, because they also were thinking this is about the time we would have had our postings reviewed or taken a look at, you know, starting the process of getting them up. Okay. So I, last year, did you do the, this Jess, did you, did you, um, you know, contact, um, um, HR and do all they, the postings and stuff. I don't know who handled it last year. It must have been Nellie. This would have been uh, my first week on the Park Commission. I hadn't done it yet. Yeah. Okay. Do you want to, how do you want to handle it then? You want to have her do it again? We'll just tell them to run the same thing as they did last year? Yep. Yeah. Sounds good to me. What about you, yeah. Joe? Do we, do we know what our budget is? I know last year we had a little bit of a, a problem with money-wise. Do we want to limit the amount of people we're going to hire? You know, we'll be able to look at those numbers, I think. I mean, maybe not lifeguards and concession, but maintenance. We're going to have to pay for them. Do we need as many maintenance or whatever? How we do that? I think we might want to take a look at that. Well, I mean, we yeah. can run the ads for hiring, but we don't necessarily have to hire the same amount as last year. Right. You, you can post, most, we can post it now and then decide what we want to do later. The most important yeah. ones are the lifeguards. Right. And I think we're going to definitely have to cut down the maintenance staff. Like, like, like you said, Joe, it's, it was way off last year. So. I think if we do go that well with the uh, maintenance folks, maybe we can have a, a listing of what they can work on at the other parks. You know what I'm saying? Maybe they can put some time into John Pond, uh, you know, clear pond pot and maybe somewhere else on the open out something, you know? Yeah. Well, um, I'm going to tell you when I, I'm talking to um, Franklin about this and these two people they hired for Ted Williams, uh, they're not just for Ted Williams, they're for the parks. So um, Ryan and whoever else they hire will be going down and taking care of um, John Pond. And then he, he said he would talked to you, as a matter of fact, about some projects you wanted to do. Well, we're going back and forth. I gave him a list of some things, and I, I haven't heard back lately. I just sent him an email recently, but uh, I'm sure he'll get back to me. Um, some stuff he can do possibly, mostly like brush cutting right now a little bit because it's starting to get overgrown on the sides. Uh, and then put some stone in the uh, the walkway and some other stuff. So. Well, he's going to have, you know, that's one of the advantages of, you know, these two new people is that uh, he'll have the people to do that. Good. Yeah. yeah. Yep. So, yeah, let's go ahead and, uh, Nellie, uh, move forward on what we have to do to get that stuff posted. Okay, great. I'll reach out to HR. Okay. All right. Okay, mowing and trimming plan. Now, that's basically what we are just talking about. Um, our mowing and trimming plan right now is that um, I have um, Bobby Beach is mowed a couple of the baseball fields so far um, this week coming up with all this rain, we're going to have to start mowing again. Um, Ryan is there and he will, um, he will start, you know, mowing as well. Um, so we should be okay. Um, we should be okay right now with, with the mowing and trimming. He's been, uh, um, Ryan has been down there. He took down a, a he took, took a couple of trees out of the way that would had fallen down, and um, he's been doing a lot of uh, leaf getting the leaves out of there. Um, so he's just kind of familiarizing himself with the um, mowers and and the different things there. Um, so um, that's that's all we have right now for the mowing and trimming until they you know they hire these people. Um, They'll be down at John Pond to do what they normally do. Beautiful. Okay. Walk through the uh, the baseball field area this weekend a little, and uh, the infields are looking really good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, um, just to add on to that, the um, the, the the spring fertilization is going to happen on Thursday, so they're going to look even better in about two weeks. But. Um, and when, then we're going to really need to stop mowing them. Um, but, uh, yeah, they, they, it's growing. It's growing. They're going to have to stop mowing around the lodge, too. So, 
All right, Highway Department Communications, we went over that with Maureen, unless you guys have anything else to add. Yeah, the only, only thing I was uh, thinking about, do we need to um, have, um, how, how do we communicate what to the Highway Department, what would they like have done at the different parks? Like I, I gave uh, a Franklin a list of some things I like to see at John Pond. Uh, yeah. He liked it at all. I know they were looking for something like that at from Clear Pond as well as John Pond. I, I know Clear Pond, it's a lot of stuff that's got to be cleaned up over there. So I mean, maybe we, we put a list together so they can just get an idea and walk through it with us and start as soon as they can. But I know they would like to have something identified from the park so what we would like them to do. And then they prioritize right. it and things like that there. So uh, something I'd say we should definitely do a clear pond and then again at, at, at uh, Ted Williams. And then, yeah, uh, I've already given them a list for Ted Williams as well, and you gave him uh, a list for that. He wasn't um, real keen on getting involved in it until everything was settled as far as whether he was going to get these two people, mm -hmm. um, which is fine. I understand. Um, but um, now that they're one's hired and the other one's on the way, these things should start happening. And I think uh, on our, uh, whenever we have a meeting, we should be reviewing – the list of uh, communication with the highway department, what, what needs to be done. Yeah. There he is. Well, I see his face. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> you there? I'm here. All right. Good evening, Chairman Holmes. <laughs> <laughs> you want to take over? No, you're doing fine. We're at... <laughs> We're at the highway department communications. We, um, uh, Maureen sat in the beginning of the meeting. Okay. And we had a conversation about the, um, what, um, what she had sent out on si Saturday. Yes. And I think it was agreed. We, there's more work to be done there. Yes. Okay. All right. All right. So we're talking about highway department communications. We're going to, um, moving forward, we'll make sure that we keep that, uh, updated list of things that we need done at the various parks. Mm -hmm. and, right. and should we invite maybe uh, Franklin to one of the meetings maybe once a month? Would that be a good idea? Um, he had said already that he's not, he's not going to do that. He he's not interested. Anybody he would send the supervisor. All right. So I'm just saying someone from the highway department. Yeah. Maybe Brian. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah, I think we need to, to get this whole thing sorted out a little bit more. Because it's not, you know, they're hiring the people and stuff, but it's not really, it's not really uh, set in stone of how it's going to happen. All right. Uh, when you uh, uh, when you send a list over to Franklin, do you want to CC me and I can keep a log of everything we're asking for? Okay, yeah. Okay. That'd be perfect. All right. General updates from Ted Williams camp. Um, Scott and I were down there and um, locked everything up. Um, the playground is good caution tape all around it, signs all over it. The um, basketball courts, skate guard, uh, skate park, and um, tennis courts um, all have locks on them. Um, unfortunately, that's not keeping people out. <laughs> Had to call the police a couple times and uh, ask, uh, ask them to shoo them away. Um, I'll tell you a funny story. I was down there one day last week and I look over and there's a couple of people playing tennis and um, I'm like, did those locks not work? Or so I go over there and I said, how did you get in there? <laughs> the guy goes, Oh, we, we jumped the fence. Well, the, the fence and the, the, that's about a 10 foot fence at the, on yeah. the tennis courts. So I said, well, you're going to have to jump it again because it's closed. But um, uh, unfortunately, I was over there um, Saturday, and it looks like somebody cut a hole in the fence now oh, at the okay. tennis courts. Yeah. So oh, did you see that, you Scott, that they cut a hole in the fence? Great. Yeah. Oh, I lost you guys. I can hear you, but I can't see you. Well, we can see you. Hey, oh, you Mike, can? We, oh, there we go. What if we took <laughs> the nets down? Well, the, I'm assuming the nets are up, right? Well, you know, some of, yeah, some of the um, towns have been doing that. Um, Actually, basketball hasn't been as much of a problem. It's been a skate park a lot to, to jump on the fence of the skate park, and there's also a hole in that. There's also a hole in that fence. Yeah, yeah. So I don't know. 
I, it's, there's signs up everywhere. There's locks up everywhere. I don't know what, what we can do. The police are supposed to take care of it. Right. And they did when that, the day I called them. They went right over. They were there within a minute. Not that they had far to go, but... Um, other than that, um, in Williams camp, uh, not much going on. I have, much have, else. I had a key for Ryan and I went by there this morning on my way to the office, but he wasn't there. So I gave him one of my green keys. Okay. You know, the, the key for the green lock. So he's got, he's got, That's what I had. all right. So you don't have one. No, no. I had more than one. Okay. I had Linda's. I had Linda's. Okay. Fine. Yeah. Okay, so he's okay for now. Okay. Sports seasons. Um, is there anything, um, any updates on, anybody heard any updates on when, is it still the May 4th? That's the date still? Yes. Stand or? Still May 4th. No May 4th. Um, I haven't heard from any of the, the leagues. Have you, Nellie? Uh, no, just updates from soccer, really, that their uh, large organization is on the same timeline. Oh, good. Um, I know there was that question about the women's soccer um, with the fees. Um, yes, and I think we're going to get more of these as we keep going into this time frame now that the season's delayed, um, yeah. where – something as large as little league or soccer might not have such a, an issue, a small team like this who only play on Sundays and it's only for a certain amount of weeks for this spring session, they're going to have more of a problem. It's only 20 bucks. Right. Yeah. My first response was um, we got a lot of other things to worry about besides that right now, but do we have to respond to this person? They would like a response because if we agree, uh, they can put that forward to their members. So then the members' fees have to be turned in by a certain time. They were asking for an answer by April 19th. Well, what do you guys think? Joe? Joe? Let's get, we don't even know yet if we're going to be playing. I mean, uh, I, I, don't, I don't know if we really give an answer yet, right? I mean, yeah. even don't forget, May 4th, we might be able to go back to work a little bit, but it doesn't mean ball team is going to start playing. I mean, you know, the schools are closed rest of the year probably in a lot of places. So they might just say, hey, no, no sports until September. I don't know. Right? No large doesn't matter. At all, probably. The mosquitoes ahead, are going to – Nope. I said probably be no large groups at all. They would just be allowing, you know, smaller operations to just be running again. It doesn't matter because the mosquitoes are going to come out and cancel the rest of it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, the Grinch has joined us. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, then if, if you all agree, I know I think you should tell them that we're – it is what it is for now. We're moving forward as normal. And yeah. as normal. that's just what we You know, the other thing is our costs aren't going to change. Right. Those, those fees are based on our costs. We're still putting the fertilizer down. Right. On Thursday. <laughs> um, right. So. The grass is still going to get mowed and the fertilizer yeah. is still going to go down. And that's going to cost us, with those two things, are going to cost us more than what we get in fee money. Period. Right. Right. Okay. Okay. Moving on, uh, John Pond Park updates. Joe? Nobody's playing, which is good. Uh, uh, not much has changed. Um, I did reach out to the Free Lake softball people to see, uh, talk about some improvements we wanted to make. I haven't heard back from them. I figured we could start on some of the stuff uh, maybe soon, you know, like the parking lot. I reached out to Franklin about some stuff, just waiting to hear back. So um, right now nothing's going on. Yeah, all okay. those big groups, they've already collected all their fees. You know, oh, they have? registration in December, January, and February. Everybody's already paid to play for the season. Yeah. Hey, Joe, I just want to let you know, I, I, I touched base with this earlier, um, and, and, uh, Scott, 
The um, I heard from uh, Mike from um, Winfield, uh, the fertilizer people today, and they are going. They wanted to come tomorrow and, and do Ted Williams and the new fields, and I said I don't, I don't know if that's a great idea. It's kind of you know pouring rain, so they're going to come on a Thursday and, and put down that fertilizer. Now that I had we had talked about a price of uh, 68, 76, 10, and 800 for the new fields which we approved um, and um, we actually are only going to pay 600 for the new 650 for the new fields and the 68 76 10 is going to be around $5,600 because they're taken you know the U10 field that um, we replanted and we already fertilized it so you wouldn't fertilize it with this stuff anyway because it would kill us the, the seed so we're going to have it looks like around uh, in our budget, somewhere around twelve hundred dollars left for um, materials. And Joe had asked me about what the plan was for J John Pond Park, and right. uh, I think that's more than enough to do the the two outfields of the of the main fields. Um, so I I, I asked um, Mike to come down and measure them and uh, give us a quote, uh, see what he thought we needed there. And uh, okay. give us a quote, and he said he was he would do that as soon as everything kind of loosens up a little bit. So, yeah. all right, Joe. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, yeah no, that's good. Because we didn't really originally we didn't have anything in the budget for John Pond, but it, we had it for next year. We have it in there for next year, but we don't. Right. So it's good that we have a little extra money. Yeah. yeah well, extra money. We got nothing coming in. Who else has got to join? <laughs> um, Mike, question, quite question about the grass and the seed there. Uh, did you reseed that spot down the right field line where I see the I see the cone? I did not. I did okay. not. I ordered. I we're out of seed. I ordered okay. seed, um, and it was supposed to be in uh, either Monday or next Monday um, from the place we buy seed down in Akushnet Country okay. Rent uh, Country Rentals or. So um, that will be in next week, and we'll get that. I have to I'll have to talk at that point. I'm going to have to talk to uh, Mike there and see if we should be seeding it. If they're putting down, um, you know, um, pre-emergent. Yeah, yeah, they're putting down uh, not insecticide, but uh, crabgrass control. Um, right. You don't want to, you know, it'll kill the seed. So. Um, now, anyway. one question about the once again the, that, that's considered the grounds of the parks. Is yes. that something the highway department's going to pick up? Yes, it is. I talked to Franklin about that. You know, he's been like honestly, God, he's been real good about everything. And I talked to him about that the other day, and I called him with the quote before, you know, so he knew what was going on. But we had already. This has generally been our job, you know. Yeah. It's in our budget. Um, so um, I did, and he said, you know, next year when he does it, um, he may look around for different companies. I said, well, you know, that's your prerogative. Mm -hmm. So, all right. all right. All right. What do we got? Drainage project. Review of the bids. Um, you guys all got those bids? List of bids? Yeah. Um, we don't need to worry about the one. I think they call it the East parking lot, which is the um, the police um, building fund is going to pay for. Um, soccer, you mean? Mm hmm. The soccer lot. Soccer, soccer lot. Is that what they're calling it? Uh, they that's call what it. we call it. I, I don't know what they call it. It's a soccer lot. Yeah. It's the one that the um, person who won it was a guy from uh, Bridgewater. It was not the Clancy guy from um, Middleborough um, and there that's their thing and they're gonna they're doing the, they're checking the references and they're gonna Joe was trying to ask a question about that and I don't think Maureen understood what you were asking he he asked why wouldn't we just use like the Clancy guy for both of them because he had the lowest on one and he was with in a couple thousand dollars on the other one we just use them for both which is exactly what we ran into at the at the new fields up there. So what you have to do, you have to go through this whole thing because of procurement laws that say you have to go with the lowest bidder unless 
you cancel the, the bid. lowest bidder is not going to be providing you with the same product. And we were able to do that with those. We were able to do it with the with the bathrooms because it was a totally different project. Um, um, and also um, bad bad references. And the other guy had bad references. Plus, he wanted us to buy twenty something thousand dollars worth of loom. So that's why it's procurement laws is what the reason why they have to go with the lowest bidder. All right. Um, so as far as um, the karate parking lot, um, uh, the lowest bidder was Clancy out of Middleborough. Um, uh, any, I mean, any discussion? I, I, I would make a motion that we award the bid or recommend the awarding of the bid to the, the selectmen um, to Clancy. I'd second that. Okay. Any discussion? No. Okay. All in favor? Right. I it has to be oh, a little call, call, yeah. um, roll call. All in favor? Okay, uh, Joe, Kosha. Aye. Okay, Scott Holmes. Aye. Jesse Medford. Aye. All right, Mike Nolan. Aye. Okay, so we'll send a recommendation, Nelly, if you would, to the board of selectmen that we accept that bid, um, pending references. Okay. Um. Any old business? Nobody. Uh, uh, just question for you. What about the um, the cleanup at the uh, haunted house? Where are we on that? It's in it's in limbo right now. Um, with with the um, you know the situation, the COVID situation. Uh, John is not running his. Um, his um, karate studio. He's not down there. He don't. He doesn't have the help to do it. Um, so we've we've um, taken 15 dumpsters so out of there so far, and there's still one full one there. Um, I'd say it's about 70 <clears> percent <throat> done. Um, but there's not much on that we can do either until everything you know loosens up. If, if we cut the, have we gone in the building yet? I know we have talked about the delay going in and getting that stuff out of there, or selling it, throwing away, whatever. Uh huh. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Say that again. Mike, you did cut the lock. The lock. Mike did. Well, the fire department cut the lock off. Okay. Fire department. In our green. If you want to go in there, our green lock is on there now. You can you can get in there with uh, your regular key for the green locks. No, no thanks, but I, I know there was one that <laughs> I know there's that one gentleman that came to one of our meeting last meeting and he had tools in there he wanted. Are we gonna let him have those tools? Good question. Were, were we waiting was, on legal or something, Mike? Say again? Were we waiting on legal or yeah, something? Yeah, yeah. I haven't I was supposed to send a, a list to um Maureen about what we had done to, to give them notification. Um, and I haven't sent that to her yet and she's going to send it off to legal and see what legal wants to, we to should get. include the two 30 day letters that we gave him. Yeah. That, that's, that's what she was looking for. You have all that stuff, Nellie, right? All the correspondence with the, um, Lake Haunted house people. I do. It was two emails because we don't have a mailing address for them. Yeah. But they were received and responded to, right? Yes, they were. Yeah. Okay, so if you could send them to me, I'll get those over to um, Maureen. Will do. We can get that, run that up to the, the legal poll. Yep. But that, yeah, we don't want to be giving away stuff if they determine that it's all, you know, it could be determined that it was it was abandoned, you know, more than two years ago, and it's all the property of the town now. I don't, I don't know. Although I don't want to be taking someone's tools. I mean, maybe maybe you ask that guy just exactly what he had instead of having yeah. him going in and and, and shopping. Maybe he tells, sure. hey, what kind of, what tools did you have? If they're in there, you give them to them. Okay. What was was that the Mike Nogueira? No, no. no. Nogueira wasn't at the meeting. It was the older gentleman and the younger gentleman. Yeah. Oh, the guy yeah. and his son. Yeah, I haven't heard anything further from them at all. Um. So, do we have a con? We must have a contact for them, right, Nelly? Uh, it should be on the sign-in sheet. I don't know how much information they gave us. Okay. 
All right. Well, if you want to send me the, what you have on the signing sheet, I'll see if I can get a hold of them. Yeah, I'll have to get that from the office, but I'll be in this week to pick up some stuff anyways. Okay. Okay. N Nelly. That's where I, we're at, though. I have a, a slip for Home Depot. Do you want me to leave it at the office? Yes, perfect. Yeah, we haven't done bills yet. Where would you like figure to figure out what we're going to do for bills. You have, you have bills, Nelly? I do. I do. Um, so my idea was um, if everybody has the key to the Ted Williams camp office, I can just leave them there and everybody can just go and sign separately and then just let me know when you've gone. That work? I have a key. Okay. Mike has a key. Joe, Jesse. Okay. okay. Um, Which key is that? I think I only have the uh, green lock key. It's not a green lock key. It's a, it's a, the, the office. Door key. Yeah, I don't, door key. I don't think I have that one. Well, we'll have to get you one. Yeah. <laughs> um, were we um, – we were going to uh, sign the ones for Northeast Hydro Seed, right? Scott? I, I believe so. Did you talk to him? No, I, I didn't. I've ta yeah, I did talk to him a while ago. He he called you, and then he called me, wondering if these were this okay, was the work that, for the so extra work that was done. You talked to him last week or so. Yeah, right. Okay, okay, that's so, all. I, I, yeah. So if you have those, Nelly, put them out there. Um, I do. Earlier in the in me in the meeting, we were talking about the MV electric bill. Yep. And. Um, you at some point want to give him a call, right? And ask him about that. I, I can, but we're going to have to pay it. I mean, okay. I can, I can, I can try to call him tomorrow. Well, it's up to you. I mean, uh, we tabled it earlier because we weren't sure what you, how you wanted to handle it, but, um, um, it's up to you. You want to call him and we'll, we'll talk about signing it next meeting. Uh, well, aren't we going to get in trouble if we wait? What is it, two weeks overdue? I don't know. It was on March 2nd that they completed the work. March 2nd, so April 2nd is due. So we should we should probably pay it. I'll call him, but we should probably pay it. Okay. Maybe we can get some sort of a credit. I do actually have have the, um, the um, estimates. For that other work? Yep. Um, and I'll send this over to you, Nelly. For the um, this is for the um, lighting in the um, parking lot that the town wants us to get done because uh, for voting and such. Um, and one of them is option one is thirty nine hundred and fifty dollars, and then the second one is ten thousand one hundred eighty four dollars. Well, I'll send this to Nelly. She can, yeah, yeah, exactly. She can send this. Well, we, we, you know, we can run it up the, up the uh, flagpole if the town wants to pay for it. It's a town building, right? Well, yeah. <laughs> the town parking lot. I don't know. Yeah. Anyway, I'll send it to her. Okay. Anything else? Uh, old business. <coughs> Nelly, do we have any any old business that? Hasn't been addressed? I don't think anything that we can handle. I just got one thing for you, Nelly. The AEDs, defibrillators. Yes. I spoke to the chief. Um, whenever you get a chance, or if you need me to help you, he wants to take a look at him. We might have to reprogram him or something because he's five years old. Uh, and then he said maybe he'd be able to help us out get the pads for us. But he wanted to take a look at him to see if um, – they need to reprogram me, whatever that means. So. He wants he wants all of them, right? Yeah. Okay. So I'll, I'll be in I'll be in the office this week, so I'll be able to grab them and drop off, drop them off with him. Uh, just let him know, yeah. I know we spoke him and I, so tell him that's what we do. Try to get him to him and see what he see what he has to say. Okay. Yeah, he didn't he didn't mention that to me when I talked to him. That no, that's fine. No, I'm, Joe, I'm glad you're following up on it. I'm yeah. just saying he. He never mentioned to me anything about reprogramming him, or I would have brought him down there. Yeah, I, I hear you. Whatever. I mean, so uh, I'll forward you the email I got, Nelly, just so you can you know have there with you when you speak to him. 
Sounds good. Thanks, Joe. Yep. Okay. Uh, new business correspondence. Nellie? Yes, we received something from the um, Cable Advisory Committee. Hold on. There he is. Um, they're in the process of negotiating a license renewal with Comcast and wanted to know specifically what the pre present status is of our cable connection at Loom Pond. Because um, sometimes they're able to get free drops to some town-owned buildings that they'd like to know if the lodge needs one. Uh, so he just needed an answer. I wasn't quite sure. Isn't what we have now a free drop? Yeah, Verizon. Verizon. With Verizon. I see. Okay. So I do have his contact information. I didn't know if anybody wanted to talk to him directly with what we wanted at the lodge. Well, maybe we can get a free drop to the office. Hey. <laughs> that wouldn't be bad. Get your wife. Is, is he only specifically talking about Comcast or is he? Is it... It's Comcast because they're doing a license renewal. Hmm. So, and I don't know if maybe with that free drop, we can add. Um, say the the sports thing that we were thinking about for Loom Pond. What sports thing? Uh, the sports package, so we could get the games on the TV. Oh, we're gonna have, well, we're gonna have to, to, to in order to get the sports package, we're gonna have to start paying. Yeah, yeah. So it couldn't be added on to the free drop. Right. It, it, they wouldn't add the the, the sports package okay. onto the free drop for seven dollars, right. which is what we're hoping for they will only add it on to a package that's being paid, which if we were to start paying for the package, uh, it, it's over $50, it's 50 or 75. It's, it, it's not worth it. Yeah. Yeah. For the amount of times we use it, you know, I mean, if it was $15 a month, yeah, it would be a no brainer, but that's only on an add on package that you're already paying for the drop we have. We don't, pay for anything right jose, so i don't know if we want to continue jose, jose pop, pop back on did you have something to add to this yeah so um it is only with comcast that we're dealing with now we're trying to get a, a handle on how many connections there are currently in town and it's just for the free drop of the basic cable it does not affect whether or not you can get the sports package you need to buy something else in order to get that so that's so. how verizon works too yeah yeah that makes sense <laughs> okay thank you You're welcome so i guess if we want to continue with the free drop with the renewal for comcast um we, he, he would just need approval to list us yeah i guess sure does anybody want to speak to him specifically with any questions? Should I give the contact info to somebody particular? Or do you want me to just tell him yes? Oh, yes. Yes. Yeah, yes is fine with me. Yes. Okay. All right, I'll just respond to him that yes, we would like that at the lodge. Okay. Um, any other new business update from the department head meeting, Joe? Okay, it was last Friday. It wasn't much going on. What they want to do, uh, Mommy wants to have it every Friday at nine thirty. Every meeting every Friday. So, um, hasn't scheduled anything that I know, but I just figured I'd throw it out there. She wants to keep it to a half an hour, but have it every Friday um, while everybody's remote. So, was it a half hour? Yeah, it was about forty minutes. It wasn't too bad. But there wasn't much going over. Uh, they were looking at some stuff, I, more for other departments than ours. They were looking for a listing of stuff that's not getting done because of the COVID situation. It really doesn't apply to us. Um, so, uh, also, the one thing they did question is our budget. Uh, we, have, we have to make adjustments because of the Loon Pond Lodge, not getting money and all that stuff. And I figured that's something you'd have to deal with, Scott. But they were questioning budget adjustments. Right. So, so my question to that is, the new budget that we're going to be making doesn't start till July and rental should be back in order by July. So, I mean, I, I'm, I'm, I guess, I, I guess I'll have to tune in on Friday and see what they want because I mean, how can I make adjustments to this year's budget? I can't. Yeah. I, I, I don't know. I, I figured I that's, that you'd have to hit on that one. But they were talking about the budget adjustments based on the loss of revenue. And I said, I'll pass that on to Scott. Sorry, buddy. 
Thanks, Joe. Well, maybe they were looking um, to get an idea of how, how much of a shortfall we were going to have in order to get, um, any, uh, you know, uh, federal or state funds. I know okay. they're, they're applying, everybody's applying for a lot of um, relief funds. Yeah, I guess we'd have to, we'd have to talk to SEM and see what's been, what's been either canceled or postponed um, so far because of this. Yeah. There hasn't been a real lot, I think two weddings so far. But April and May, loaded. There was all kinds of stuff. Yeah. Um, so we're going to lose a lot in April and May. April and, and May are two big months. Yeah. And Before June. they successfully postponed everything, we haven't had a cancellation yet. So right. perhaps that's what they're thinking of, is that we had things fully canceled and we've had to refund. So I can reach out to SEM and ask them what we've postponed and been able to keep the deposit for and what's been canceled and what they have had to refund. And, and I guess looking at that is also what's postponed. I mean, did they postpone it to the fall? So it's going to go into next fiscal year, you know, versus um, uh, the revenue we're going to lose in this fiscal year. We are going to get it next year, but we're going to lose it this year. I do believe the two weddings that we were seeing got postponed a year out. Oh, wow. Yeah. Both of them. Wow. Yeah. In, in a lot of cases, if they postpone, you're still losing money because the date they moved to would have got something else. Yeah, it would have been a higher price. No, yeah. you're right. You're right. No, there's no question about it. I mean, it's still a lost revenue, um, and, and we should we should get a handle on what we're going to lose between what we've lost already and I would say in June 30th. I mean, and maybe for each month, they can see what we're going to lose in April and what we're going to lose in May so we can gauge, you know, when things do open up. But like you said, I mean, we, we, it, things may still be held to small numbers and may not be able to do anything. I don't know. Yeah. So just one other question on the, I know we had talked one time about the farmer's market. Um, if we any more follow up on that, I know we might not have to have it, but we still trying to move forward with it or not move forward with it. Yeah, it was pretty much, um, in their, in their court. Um, they were, trying to see what was going to be the best location um, for them. Mm -hmm. And either way, I mean, you know, if it's over there at Dickron Square or if it's over here at Ted Williams, you know, it's not going to really matter. Um, but they just haven't got back to us. Okay. Um, I think with everything that's going on, they're just kind of mm. waiting and seeing too. Yeah, mm -hmm. and, and along that lines – oh, go ahead, Asad, I'm sorry. Nellie, you haven't heard anything from them? No. Along that lines, um, I know we've heard from the uh, mixtape um, uh, that's been postponed. Postpone. Anything on uh, TriFest? I know that's August, but nothing yet. And the other I thing, hadn't heard anything. Yeah. The other thing that just popped in my mind was the, um, the, the car show, mm -hmm. which is a new thing for us. That's what, July? June or July? It July. was. It's supposed to be July. July seventh or something. Oh, nothing from them either, right? No. Well, we'll have to wait and see, I guess, huh? I think that's what everybody's doing. They're waiting and seeing. Yeah. yeah. Okay. But nothing else out of the department head meeting. That's it. it okay. Like, you you sent great. me those bullets. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much Thanks, for going. Joe. Thanks for doing that. All right, so the items from the clerk, we've got, we, we already talked about processing the, the signatures for bills, right? And? Yeah. Yes, so I'll let you guys know once they're in there and ready for your signature, okay. and then I can bring them into accounting. Jesse? Yeah. Jesse? Yep. Uh, do you have some time where we could meet and I can get you a key? Sure. Um, Every time is good for you. I'm home all day nowadays. <laughs> <laughs> um, this this Thursday and Friday, I'm supposed to be off because that was after April fifteenth. Right, right. Um, but now the the new the new April fifteenth is July fifteenth. Yeah. But anyhow, um, so Thursday or Friday, if you want to, we can get together. I'll get you a key. Yeah, no problem. All right, great. Okay. Um, they moved your desk, Nellie? 
Well, kind of. So what has happened is, uh, of course, you know, I my desk was in the fire department, but due to all of the safety equipment that they now need to store for everybody, they needed the space. So uh, the deputy apologized, but had to move my desk out of that room. So I'm sort of in the hallway. So I went in last week, I grabbed the printer, which is our, our most valuable item, and, and took it. But at this point, I don't know if my desk is going to go back. So I'm going to start moving my stuff over to Ted Williams camp. Okay. In, into um, the lodge? Uh, I wasn't going to, uh, no, I'm going to store it right now in the office section because I'm working from home anyways. Okay. So I'm using my Wi-Fi here. So I, we don't need to set anything up. But we're going to need to at some right. point. Did, did Justin get a, an adapter there? He did. I have it. We just never got a chance to um, plug it in and test it out. Okay. Well, I'm going to have some free time on Thursday and Friday. <laughs> okay. Anything else from anybody? We have a motion to adjourn. What oh, no, I'm meeting? sorry. Next meeting. Thanks. Next meeting. This worked out okay, huh? We have a manageable group. There's not a ton of faces all over the place, so... <laughs> Do you want to make it two weeks from tonight? Uh, two weeks from tonight is 27th. 27th. Yep. Fine with me. 6.30. 6.30. 6.30. I got a question for you, Scott. Seeing that the elections had all pushed off, I know Justin's term was due in April. Does that mean it's now due in July or? It's extended. Yep. Till, I, think it's, I think they're looking for the first week in June. Like the seventh or eighth, or well, oh, the eighth would be. I had I totally forgot to report something. Um, Lillian contacted me and asked me, and Maureen. They asked me um, what we had scheduled for June, and asked if we could block off all of the Monday Tuesdays in June um, because they don't have a firm date yet. It's going to be sometime in June for the um, for the for the elections. So, so I correct me the correct me the elections on Tuesday. Yeah. So she would be. We just have when things start up. B and I will come back on Monday. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah. So it would be Monday afternoon Tuesday type thing, like they yeah. normally do. I think. Yeah. That's that's all I'm saying. Monday noon time, um, they can set up, and then and Tuesday they can have the election. Yeah. But um, Nelly, if you can just check the thing. Uh, did they reach out to SEM? Because it's already in the oh, calendar. Hang on a second. I'm getting a message. I, I Maureen's still on here. What is it, Maureen? What's the word? June 16th. Thank you. No, thank you. Thank yeah, you, Maureen. It's, list, it's listed as the first choice, the 15th and 16th. Okay. Okay, good. That's good. Yeah. Okay, so that's already on the uh, Yahoo calendar. Yes. I'll go in there and I'll take the rest of them off. Not that we're going to get anything um, rented. Mondays or Tuesdays in June, but no, that's that's why it's not a problem. Yeah. Okay. Sorry about that. Um, now, do I have a, a motion to adjourn? No, just, just one more quick one, Mike. Sorry. Oh, go ahead. Sorry. If if it comes back on, you know, the May fourth thing, um, when do what do we need to tell folks um, they can use fields or not? Is it uh, we still waiting on from the governor, or how is this going to work? I think, I think, um, what? I think um, the, um, when we have our next meeting in two weeks, we're going to have a, a better idea on whether it's going to be opened up on the 4th or not. All right. I come from the Board of Health after the governor. Say again? It would probably come from our Board of Health. I would think they would make the determination after the governor clears it. And yeah. I guess the question is who uh, is is it the board of health that does make that call? Well, when we use the field, I think the governor's been making a call, doesn't he? Doesn't the governor pretty much been making the overall call? I think the governor's making recommendations, and the towns are putting forth what they're doing. Yeah, Maureen is is texting me. She said the governor. Okay. <laughs> um. So, although I hear that our, the president is now stepping in and he's going to 
he wants to dictate when things open up. So there might be a battle. <laughs> there may be a federal versus state battle going on, but I mean, <laughs> I, I, I have to say that I think our governor has done a fantastic job so far um, with the resources that he's had. So that's just my personal opinion. Anywho. Second that. <laughs> we have a motion to adjourn. Anybody? Good. Motion to adjourn. Okay. Second. Seven fifty-eight. Second. Okay. Any discussion? On that. Uh, Joe Kosha. Adjourned. Yes. <laughs> Scott Holmes. Yes, sir. Jesse Bedford. Aye. Mike Nolan. Aye. Right. Okay. Thanks, guys. <laughs>